Hello YouTube and welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. I'm Yolanda, the mother of the Big King Family. And right here, um, in the last vlog, I believe I already showed you all the huge um, Memorial Day um, haul that we did. But here's a lot, a lot, a lot of the drinks that we had got um, from the haul. And right now I'm just stocking up the drink cabinet as we do. We had got lots of water and sodas and juices for the kids, which we do every week. Here's the trash left over from that. I always get the kids to help me with the trash. And the drink cabinet is all full. Good morning, everyone. Happy Memorial Day. Um, today is Memorial Day. It's early. In, it's not early in the morning. About 2 o'clock. It's 2 o'clock. I got the birdies, the burgers. Pat it up and season up and ready to go on the grill. I'm headed out here. He's taking the hot dogs off the grill. Got the hot dogs off the grill. Oh, we got a couple more packs, don't we, babe? Hot dogs? Them, them beef. The beefs. Okay, we got to put the beef hot dogs on and then the hamburgers come on after that, you guys. Right here, you guys. I'm going to let you guys know that I had just did a small skillet of baked beans to go with our barbecue today. They were really good. They were black beans and red bell peppers, so they were really good. The brisket I bought a few weeks back, I cut the skin off, washed it, seasoned it really good. Then I went ahead and started preparing it for the grill. This will be the last thing to go on the grill today, so I'm just going to cover it with foil and let it just, just let it go. I definitely want to stay on there at least two and a half hours before I even get it and check it. So that's what I'm going to do. The next time I do this, I am going to put a few more juices and veggies in there just so it'll be a tad more moist. Because when I took it off the grill, it wasn't as moist as I wanted it. And to finish this off, I doubled the foil to make sure no leakage would occur on the grill. Now it's ready to go. All right, y'all, it's watermelon time. I have always wanted to know how to cut a watermelon up like this. So I looked up a video, I think on Pinterest or something, and you're going to cut both sides off. Oh, no, I, it was a video on YouTube. The kids always say, Mom, why don't you cut it in cubes, cut it in cubes. And as you guys all know, if you've been watching my vlogs long enough, I normally will uh, cut it into small triangular cubes triangular pieces which is pretty easy for them to eat but it's even easier when you can just pick it up in cubes and eat it so i cut the ends off and then i start by cutting off the sides slicing the sides off you want to make sure you get all of the rind off of there so i'm just kind of going around side by side slicing off the rind so this is going to help me uh get to the red part okay and then you want to go on there and you want to finish off the uh, watermelon by making sure you get all the little white pieces off. I thought I did that here, but I must have already done that. So then you want to cut that in half once you get down to the real good part. It's all red, all meat. I guess that's what you call the watermelon meat. And then you're going to cut that in half right there. And then I sliced it up right here. And then I went around the other side. So the half is going to get sliced three ways. And then you're going to slice it up, turn it around and slice it. And there are your cubes good watermelon cubes they enjoyed this and at the end i took that brisket off chopped it up and we ate it on buns hello youtube family and this evening i did a deep clean on the kitchen so that's what i was doing here but i, I want to take this time to talk to you guys a little bit let you guys know what's been going on first of all i apologize for not getting the uh, the DIY pictures in this vlog Forgive me you guys. I'm gonna come and tell you guys the truth. I just have not had the time I didn't I, I just feel like I didn't have the time to like do it and stop and get it like I wanted the cord so um, I'm, I'm gonna do that Lord's will that I could do it next week and my hope and my prayer that you all forgive me Please forgive me for that I said I was going to put it in this vlog, and I did not. So, um, the decor should be in the next vlog. Second of all, my sister, she also hasn't been in this vlog. Uh, I think doing some of the clips, you're going to hear her in the background. But I'm sure she's going to come on when she feels comfortable uh, getting into one of my videos. I'm sure she will 
coming to one of my videos soon, you guys. All right. So, um, next, I did want to let you guys know um, on the last vlog, I told you guys I had an announcement to make. And that is that I quit my job. I don't know if that's a, like a really big announcement or nothing like that. I don't know if that's just such a huge announcement or not. But I, I've always been a stay-at-home mom and really been at home with my family. But um, during the past year, well, 11 months, but it was about a year, I have worked part-time supposedly at the Dollar Tree. It was going to be like a part-time job. Uh, to get out and to make some extra money and i just really love the store the dollar tree but as a company it is different to work for the dollar tree i normally worked about 40 hours a week even when i cut myself down to four days i was still doing 40 40 hours a week or more and it was not going to work out it was i'm doing a voiceover baby and that just wasn't going to work for me and my family so now I'm back at home, and I feel like that was the right decision to make. So there's that, that announcement. No, I am not pregnant. No, ma'am. I, I really feel like I'm. it's time for the grandbabies to come and play. And I have five grandchildren already. My husband and I do. We love them so much. But you know what? Hopefully there's more to come. We're going to enjoy our grandchildren. I think time for us having children. I don't know. It should be over. Lord's willing. We will see. But uh, also, um, I think that's about it. All I had to catch you guys up on. But um, I'm so thankful. A special thanks to all who have been watching the vlogs that I put up. I'm really thankful. I'm so, I'm so thankful. I am so thankful. Yes, we just have a small channel here, but I, I love it. I love vlogging. I love putting the camera on, and I plan on getting my family more involved in it. My husband has been so supportive ever since I've started this channel, and I'm so thankful for him. But I do want the children to be more involved in YouTubing with me, you know, putting up these blogs and stuff. I want them to start being more um, involved. There's Yasmin and Cheyenne. They're in the kitchen with me. Um, I, just, I just absolutely love vlogging. I get joy out of vlogging. So now I'll be able to have, I will have more time, but um, Duna Bud starts school in August. So that's going to take up a little bit more of my time, dropping him off, picking him up. And I, I plan on being very hands-on in his schooling. <laughs> so I'll probably be at school every day. I'll be one of the parents I get tired of seeing, you know. But I definitely want to be very hands-on with him. I want to spend more time with Ducey, with his, um, I know he's probably going to be in the process of getting a permit, getting a car. Trying to get different things done, you know. So, uh, Dunabug and Ducey will be taking up a lot of time. You know, I really want to um, take a little bit more time up with them than I do usually do to try to help, you know, get them on the right in the right direction. Uh, we also believe that we have found a new church to attend. So, every Sunday I can go out and fellowship with others. Definitely been receiving and getting the word of god if it wasn't for the word of god man i love the word of god the word of god brings me joy and it brings just life to my life and i'm so so thankful for jesus i don't know what to do um so other than that i think that's all i really have to tell you guys uh, i just really want to come clear and i i normally i don't make promises on my vlogs and stuff i try not to because lord have mercy i'm still human you know, still human, and I, I really, I, I have no desire to let my, to let my subscribers down or the people who watch my vlogs. I don't want to let them down, so I, I would try my best to remember in my mind. Don't be making promises. You know, you never know what may happen or may go on throughout the week. So I'm finishing up the kitchen here, and I thank you guys for listening to me. Thank y'all for talking to me. And I will be more hands-on in this vlog. This was a lot of voiceovers because my house is so loud. So I'm going to have to get with it. I'll talk to you guys in just a moment, YouTube. I, I just love a clean kitchen. I do. And I also love all the beautiful scenery here in Alabama. There are lots of places just like this one in Alabama. And I absolutely love it. God is good.
Okay, here comes our target order, you guys. Babe, say hi to the camera. Hi. Babe. Hey. You say hi to the dude. I know it say it's supposed to be a white okay. van, but I put it in my, I brought the car. All right. Here's the Target haul when they brought it out, you guys. They brought it out to the car. And I tried to do a little short on this haul. Just trying to give you guys a sneak peek on what is to come in the vlog. Um, in this vlog here. So here's all our groceries. We stopped for Starbucks before we got home. And now, here's the haul. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. I'm Yolanda, the mother of the Big King Family. And today I'm coming to you with a, a Target grocery haul. This is a huge uh, grocery haul. Uh, here lately we've been averaging about uh, 200 to 250, 250 to 300 each week for groceries. Um, I showed y'all a little tidbit of it on the short. The short should, should be up by the time this grocery haul comes up in our weekly haul. Let me just jump right into it. Y'all know we like to stay stocked up on our Scott Tissue. Uh, we got one 36 count pack. We did pick up the ranch uh the other day we were eating something oh potatoes we were eating baked potatoes and we were looking for ranch dressing so this is just some single cups like little eight single cup uh ranch dressings that is wonderful that hey baby my baby right beside me you guys and eight single cups uh and then I, we got two of these black peppers we were out of black pepper like absolutely all out i hate you then okay um and then we got these sweet smart sugar, uh, three grams of sugar candy. This is, you know, not a bad candy for the kiddos. I'm gonna start trying to pick that up when I can get a good deal on it. I think if there was a cartwheel on that, making it a little cheaper. Then uh, we got the Pepsi PC. He only got the Pepsi Complete, 50 caplets for his, um, I guess, uh, acid reflux. Yeah, a big old thing. Uh, who would think in June? In June, we would need some cough drops, but everybody around here is a little under the weather. So, 80 uh, cherry. Um, I wanted to get the defense ones. I, there is a difference between these regular haul ones and the defense ones. Seem like they work a little bit better, but we got that big old pack of haul cough drops. Um, I did pick up a couple of press ons I got these um, bare but better. I don't, it's, it's kind of like a ombre look and i just think i would like these right here they look so pretty so i'm gonna try those and i have started doing the medium leaf instead of short and um then i got the medium leaf length uh natural looking ones not necessarily french but these are really natural looking and see kiss 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 are my favorite nails of all time i've been doing them for about three to four years now and kiss has never let me down timu nails sheen nails uh other nails i try even the impress they just don't fit my nail bed like the kiss nails kiss nails are the best we did get some cereal we got the big 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 box big family size box of uh kellogg's pops we got a big family size box of these honey bunches of oats tink love her pops oh that's one thing that daddy give us is the um frosted flakes oh yes they did they over there Bring them over here for me, baby, please. Right. Then the skinny cat. I know exactly what was on the haul. If you do the haul or you make the haul yourself, you know what's on there. Even if it's a pickup or a delivery, you just kind of know, you know, what's on there and if something is missing. Uh, then I got these skinny cat ones. There's six come in there. There was a cartwheel on that. So I sell on that or something. So that's why I grabbed those. The, <laughs> the vanilla gone wild skinny cow ice cream sandwiches. They're probably going to be really, really good. Will you throw these in the freezer for me, please, baby? Okay, thank you. Uh, and then the uncured turkey bacon right here. Uh, my husband wanted to get just, you know, one pack of this to go with uh, breakfast or any time of the day. I really want to do us some omelets. So uh, omelets with some of this fried up probably would be really, really good. I know I wanted to do some of that. We got two of these big old, uh, I think these are the 32 counts of the good and gather water we just got some extra water load up on drinks this week uh target also had a really good deal on their drinks is buy three and get 25 percent off uh we got the nw zero sugar the seven up zero sugar and the sun kiss zero sugar we really like the zero sugar drinks and they are good and they may have some really good deals on them i wanted two packs of this but they would not allow me on the pickup order to get nothing but one of your chicken thigh fillets so that's not bad. Uh, for $7, look like, oh yeah, we got one, two, three, four. 
It looks like seven pieces is in there, you guys. I think about seven. So it's not bad. Uh, and then we got um, this was on sale for only $1.99 this week at Target. $1.99 for all the sliced cheese and shredded. So I got the Munster cheese and, and the sliced Kobe Jack cheese. I usually take those things from the Dollar Tree, those divider paper ones, and put it in between them. This time, I think I'm going to put it right back in the package and just seal it back up. But at least they'll be separated because once we freeze them or something like that, um, sometimes they stick together. So I just like to separate those slice cheese like that. But those slice cheese really come in handy for sandwiches and different things like that. I got two of the salted good and gathered butter. Got two of those. I'm trying to push this stuff to the side. I got to do it. Okay, then we got this Tide right here. A bigger one. It's the 84 fluent ounce Tide Otzi. Got that. We set it over there. Then we did get these the Oxy Clean Arm and Hammer. Uh, it's a bigger one too, a hundred fluid ounce. It's a bigger one. With some extra laundry detergent to go in the stock also. So two percent, half a gallon of two percent milk. It is on a good sale at Kroger this week. This week I will. I plan on going. Oh, it's already close to the weekend. Lord have mercy. Uh, when I film this, it is Friday. Close to the weekend, but I do plan on getting over there over the, throughout the weekend to pick up some items at Target and at Kroger because I got, like, some coupon deals on, on it, so, you know. And I did get a Target gift card for Mother's Day, so I'm thinking about just using it like that, uh, right? And I did get a fruit cleaning item. I got this um, Centivia Clorox, Clorox, this coconut one. It smells so good. Oh, I'm on a mopping kick, and I need to mop my house, my whole house so much. I need to mop my whole house. But here lately, I've been mopping my kitchen floor every night. So then I, I can move a little further, a little more and more and more throughout the house and just really get a real good mop on all the floors real good. So I definitely will be utilizing this. Mm-hmm. Ting, what were you looking at? You looking at this big old giant, giant size of Frosted Flakes right here. We got this humongous thing of Frosted Flakes and the Pops and Honey Bunches of Oats. That's enough cereal for the week, I guess. So, we did get Tink. These Honest Kids Organic uh, Juices is eight boxes in here. She really likes these. Now, do the bud. Don't jump on these. But I'm hoping he'll start drinking them right along with her. She really loves them. We also got the Don Platinum uh, Power Wash. It's the apple scent, and we've never had this. So, I will be putting this on my... Um, up there i will be putting this up on top of the sink kind of gonna try this one uh we also all these have like coupons on them and stuff through the uh cartwheel so we did get them at a pretty decent price <coughs> got this is a big one this is like the 32 fluid now uh the pure and clear lavender and eucalyptus scent of the palm olive that's gonna smell really good all righty all right T. yeah you can get it i don't care you want to get one of your juices, don't you? All right. See, they be in here as I do the haul. So once I finish this haul, they're going to have at it anything they want. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Um, the Ajax. Uh, this is the lemon scent. One of the Ajax. Ended up being a dollar and some change after the uh, coupon that was on it. All right. And then uh, these were $1.99 cent. Also, the uh, eight ounce packages of your good and gathered shredded cheese. I got some Kobe Jack. I got some Mexican style. And I got the fine cut cheddar. So that should be enough cheese for us for a little while. I mean, just for a little spell, can I tell you the truth? Like, we're going to the store spending about 300 every week. So we're going to definitely have to ease down on that. Now that I have more time, I'll be able to do a lot more couponing. So I should ease that down. Woo. Ease that budget down. Lord. Good and gather. This is uh, some of your hamburger meat. I got two of those. Two of your good and gather hamburger meats. Uh, don't know. For some reason, my husband was very adamant on getting the, that's the bags over there. On uh, getting the hamburger meat today, I don't know what we're gonna make with that. The mini corn dogs. The kids love these mini corn dogs. They absolutely love them. And forty cents in each one. We got two of those. We did get two of those. Okay. And we got three of these Alexa. I love them just as much as the kids love them. The Alexa sweet potato fries. We're gonna throw them in the freezer, and we could throw them. Um, into the air fryer when the kids wanted some fries. Then this right here, um, we got the pizza rolls right here. Uh, 130 rolls in here. This is a really big bag of the triple cheese pizza rolls right here. And last but not least, last but not least is the 
gallon size uh, freezer bags. I'm going to put these in a separate spot. I just wanted to use these. I, I keep sandwich bags on hand, but I need the gallon ones every once in a while for some different stuff. And I did get this humongous pack of the, um, it's 30 of them in here. It's uh, 30 juices in here. The fruit punch, strawberry kiwi, and the Pacific cooler kind. Okay, you guys. So thank y'all for joining me for this grocery haul in this part of the vlog. I'll talk to you guys later. Love y'all. Bye. All right, now we're gonna do a bit organization. In my stockpile, I need to put all these items into our stockpile. We just have this one closet right here in the hallway where we keep a lot of our household and health and beauty items at pretty much i'm talking about 90 percent of household and health and beauty is in this closet and it has become a little disarray i come in here probably maybe just maybe once a month to straighten it out i'm going to start right here with this bottom um part afterwards i'll straighten it up as you can see i have the tissue paper over to the side we used to keep four things of tissue but now we only keep three 36 packs we have our bleach over there in the corner we keep three in this closet and one over there by the laundry room and then we have the four bigger things the laundry detergent on the floor and then we can we can put three up here on top of that tissue i will be trying to get one more just to be stocked up with seven laundry detergents and then we have the pull-ups in the back of there um this is how this is the best way to sit up this bottom floor right here so um, now i'm going to straighten up these two um shelves right here i'm going to just straighten them up this is how it looks after i straighten them up um, and then i did put a few more items all those items into the closet oh okay now we get into team um, i want to redo her hair her hair has been up almost three weeks like two and a half weeks in these twisties and i'm gonna redo it i had her mom wash and condition her hair while the twists were still up it's gonna make it easier for me to just take down each twist and redo it but i do plan on doing more twists than this so her hair will stay neater uh longer i have been using the twist product the curl goes twist it's a leave-in condi conditioner detangler that i do put in her hair and i'm just going to use this brush and comb i take each strand and i'm going to split down each strand in order to make it double the amount of twist than it was in her hair so maybe it'll a little better once it's been held for about two and a half weeks all right i'm going to show you guys once i get this front end done i'm going to try to um, right here, I believe I got Tip helping me with the camera. I, I'm undoing a twist. I want to show you guys exactly kind of hands on what I do, what I've been doing with a hair to retwist it. So I take down one of these twists and then I'm going to go through it very slowly. I'm going to try to go through it, like pulling one little strand at a time, kind of untangling it and, you know, getting it ready to be combed i'm gonna put some conditioner on it or detangler on it and comb through it some of that hair is in the way so i had to pin it back i'm gonna continue to go through detangling it, put it on just one strand at a time she seems to be able to kind of deal with that pretty good when i detangle it like that and then i will go ahead and go in with the spray so now that that's all done this part right here will definitely probably be split down so now I'm spraying the twisted um, detangler or leave-in conditioner on her hair. Just a little bit on there. You know, just enough to get it pretty good and damp. I have learned less is more. So this time I did put quite a bit on there. But while I was doing her hair, I did notice I needed to uh, do it less. You know, put less amount of that uh, conditioner on there. Um, and then I just brush through it. I do brush through it. It'd be okay, because once I get, uh, I have to comb it, it just comes right through it. Her hair is so long. Um, I really hate that it shr shrinks back up, you know, after I do the twist. But, you know, that's that natural hair for you. Yep, you see the comb went right through it. So that detangler is really good. I really liked it the last time I used it on Tink's hair. I really did like it. So um, now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get the comb. 
I'm waiting on it. I'm waiting on it. Okay. And I'm going to split this part right here. This is exactly what I've just been doing with each and every twist. I split them because it's going to be two different uh, twists. And then I just go ahead and twist it on up. Go ahead, twist it up, twist it up. Get it going. It don't take long to kind of twist the hair down and stuff and get it going. Um, this is the only style that Tink will hold her hair because um, she will not hold beads. She's going to pull them out of her hair. Pretty hair bows. She's going to pull them out of her hair. I don't know why she's pulling everything out of, her hair, out of her hair. Just right now. Right here, I'm I'm twisting it just to tighten down the scalp part. Not too tight, but I do take it down to to her scalp. You know, just kind of tighten it down to her scalp. And I do use these um, dread holder clips or whatever in order to hold that in place till it get dry. And once it get dry, her mom takes the clips out of her hair. So, and she don't act like they bother her or nothing like that. She don't. Uh, then I continue to twist that bottom. Up in order to get a good twist on the bottom end tip of her um, twist. I do go ahead and add one at the end. Not all of them I add something to the end. But I'm putting that clip on the end. I flip it, her hair in there two or three times to hold it. I'm, I'm hoping to give it a little weight. So when it get dry that her twist will hang longer. But I don't know. So then I'm going to move on to the next twist. Okay. Just trying to show you guys <laughs> What I, the method I used in order to retwist, and it was very, it was much easier to do it this way than to have to detangle her whole head and then try to go down through it. Here's Tink when it's all set and done. Very beautiful, very pretty on her. But I really hate that she won't hold no beads or hair bows. I believe that's going to change because she loves pretty things. She loves Barbie. She loves Minnie Mouse. She loves that type of stuff. She has some watches and little bracelets and stuff. So I'm sure she'll grow out of that phase of not wanting her bows and bees. Well, this is the end of our vlog. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for listening. And until next time, YouTube, stay blessed.